Greetings, brothers and sisters. God bless each and every one of you today. I hope everybody's doing well. Again, if you are subscribed to this channel, we are watching for our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Titus 2.13, looking for that blessed hope in the glorious appearing of our great God and Savior, Jesus Christ. Jesus is coming soon, and we're going to be watching on this channel. Again, we are not going to set dates because we do not know when that day is, but we very clearly see that day approaching, and we will be watching on this channel until the trumpet sounds at the appointed time, and Jesus Christ comes for his church. Folks, I got a wild one to share with you today. But before I do, if you've been subscribed to my channel, ever since I started my channel, I've been talking about how once the rapture of the Church of Jesus Christ occurs, the world governments and leaders of that time are going to come forth, and they're not going to say that the rapture just occurred. No, when millions upon millions of people suddenly vanish all over the world, one day very soon, it's going to, they're going to come forth and say it was something involving aliens or UFOs or something along those lines. It is not a coincidence that our movies, our television shows, our entertainment industry is filled with UFOs, alien abductions, the supernatural. People are obsessed with this stuff, folks. It is not a coincidence that UFO sightings are skyrocketing all over the world. It is not a coincidence that alien abduction reports are skyrocketing all over the world. And it is not a coincidence that militaries around the world are coming out at this particular time and releasing declassified uh, UFO encounters. This is all part of conditioning the world to believe the lie that is coming after the rapture. Now, I want to make something very clear. People are seeing something, folks, but it's not what you think. Like you see on the screen here, no, I'm not an alien from outer space. I am a demonic fallen angel. I am not extraterrestrial. I am interdimensional. No, I don't come in peace. I come in the name of Satan, and my purpose is to deceive, harm, and to destroy you. In the book of Ephesians, chapter 6, verse 12, the apostle Paul records the following. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. We are in a spiritual war. So, yes, people are seeing something, but it's not little green men that are roaming the universe. No, this is a lie. This is a demonic deception. Demonic fallen angels. When you go to the book of 2 Thessalonians, chapter 2, we're going to read verse 6 to 11. The Apostle Paul records the following. And now you know what withholdeth, that he might be revealed in his time. For the mystery of iniquity doth already work, only he who now letteth will let until he be taken out of the way, and then shall that wicked be revealed, whom the Lord shall consume with the spirit of his mouth, and shall destroy with the brightness of his coming, even him whose coming is after the working of Satan, with all power and signs and lying wonders, and with all deceitfulness of unrighteousness in them that perish, because they receive not the love of the truth, that they might be saved. And for this cause, God shall send them strong delusion that they should believe a lie, that they all might be damned who believed not the truth, but had pleasure in unrighteousness. So very clearly there, the Apostle Paul gives us a timeline of events. Once the restrainer is taken out of the way at the rapture of the church, so the rapture of the church will occur, and then... That wicked's going to be revealed. So the rapture will happen. Millions of pawns, millions of people will suddenly vanish all over the world. And then that wicked's going to be revealed, referring to the future Antichrist. Even him whose coming is after the working of Satan with all power and signs and lying wonders. And we're told after the rapture and the Antichrist rises, there's going to be a lie when you go down to verse 11. And for this cause again, God shall send them strong delusion that they should believe a lie that they all might be damned who believed not the truth, but had pleasure in unrighteousness. Make no mistake about it. Part of this strong delusion that is coming after the rapture, this lie that the world's going to believe. Again, the Antichrist, the world leaders, the governments at that time, after the rapture, they're going to have to come forth and say, 
Something happened. They can't just say Jesus Christ just came to rapture his church. No, they're going to come forth. It's going to be a lie. You know, uh, what exactly that lie is going to be? I don't claim to know 100%. It could go something like this. Um, there could be some sort of nuclear event or something that occurs. And then these things show up and say, oh, we created all life on, on planet Earth here. You guys have done a pretty good job of screwing everything up. We created all life. We've come here to save the day. We're bringing you into a golden age. All those people that vanished, that were against this whole system, we took them somewhere else, um, you know, so that they could get a crash course on how things are supposed to be. Whatever. I don't claim to know exactly how uh, they're going to try to explain it away. But it's all getting set up right now. That brings me to the breaking story I want to share with you today. Many of you just sent me this. This is absolutely incredible. But I wanted to set the stage first before I shared this story on how this ties into what the Bible says is coming. Um, you know, This just came in from the Independent, folks. Alien corpses shown to Congress as UFO expert forced to testify under oath. Let me read some of this to you guys. Non-human Alien corpses have been displayed to Mexican politicians at Congress. The two small, alleged alien corpses retrieved from Costco, Peru, were presented in, window, in windowed boxes in Mexico City on Wednesday. This just happened. Stirring excitement within the UFO conspiracy theorist community. The event was spearheaded by journalist and UFOologist Jamie Musan, who testified under oath that the mummified specimens are not part of our terrestrial evolution, with almost a third of their DNA remaining unknown, reported Mexican media. At the public hearing, Mr. Musan showed UFO officials and members of the Mexican government several videos of UFOs and unidentified aerial phenomena before unveiling the alleged alien corpses. What I'm about to share with you guys, uh, it's a short clip. Uh, it is in Spanish. But what I'm about to share with you is what they just unveiled. Check it out. Evolución terrestre y que después de desaparecer no hay una evolución posterior. De acuerdo a la Universidad Nacional Autónoma de México, quien realizó los análisis de carbono 14, estos seres tienen alrededor de mil años de antigüedad. Es decir, no se trata de seres que fueron recuperados en aves, que son estrellamiento plancton, que abundaba en aquel tiempo y al desaparecer se fosilizó. So basically, to recap what they said there, they recovered uh, these bodies in Peru in a diatom mine. They found it in 2017, 2017 between Palpa and Nazca. They're saying it's not part of our terrestrial evolution. Carbon dated at approximately 1,000 years old. They're saying these aren't mummies, that the bodies are intact. And they've been researching it and doing all this stuff, and they wanted to bring it forth at this particular time. As soon as this story broke out, you could see people all over social media and commenting on articles are coming forth, you know, they're you know, saying, oh, the Bible had it wrong, blah, 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 blah. Well, actually, this story proves that the Bible had it right, that there is a demonic deception occurring. And this is exactly what's supposed to occur during the end times. I mean, we're told that God will send them strong delusion that they should believe a lie. I mean, folks... Make no mistake about it. You're seeing, again, all these militaries, Congresses coming out, uh, whistleblowers coming forth saying that they have other bodies and uh, UFO spacecrafts, and now you had just had this occur, uh, what they just revealed at, at this Congress in Mexico, uh, these two bodies, and people are now going crazy about it. Make no mistake about it. In the days, weeks, months ahead, Lord willing, unless Jesus comes first for watching every day on this channel, you're going to keep seeing uh, whistleblowers, uh, Congress hearings being held at different countries around the world. You're going to start seeing them bring other bodies forth, all right? Yes, people are seeing something, folks, but it's not what you think. This is a demonic deception. 
This is all part of the end game, conditioning people to believe the lie that is coming after the rapture of the church. And if people are getting in a stir about this, look at what people are saying already. Oh, you know, um, this proves that, you know, uh, the Bible didn't have it right. No, this proves the Bible had it, uh, that it did have it right. There's nothing wrong with this. This is going the direction the Bible said that it would. All I can tell you, if you're watching this video right now, there is coming a day where millions upon millions of people will suddenly vanish all over the world. When that occurs and the world leaders and governments come forth and say, oh, uh, it was the aliens or UFOs or these things show up and say, oh, we're here to usher you into a golden age. And those people that are missing, we sent them off to another planet or another galaxy so they can learn the ways of this new golden age before we bring them back. However, it's going to go. Make no mistake about it. When this occurs, it wasn't aliens. It was the rapture. You can read about it in 1 Thessalonians chapter 4, verse 16 to 17. 1 Corinthians chapter 15, verses 50 to 53. John chapter 14, verse 1 to 3. What really happened is Jesus Christ just came to catch away, to harpazo, to rapture, to snatch by, away by force those that are saved, to meet him in the air. Well, he takes them to heaven while the judgment of God is being poured out on humanity on earth. In a seven-year time frame, in what the Bible calls the tribulation, you don't want to be here for what's coming. All I can tell you, if you're watching this video right now and you don't have Jesus Christ in your life, just look around the world at everything occurring and look at what the Bible says. You will see several things are true. The Bible is real. The Bible is alive. Jesus is real. Jesus is alive. And Jesus is coming back, and he is coming back one day very, very, very soon. This current world order, it is sinking, and it is sinking fast just like the Titanic. You need to get on a lifeboat right here and right now. That lifeboat is Jesus Christ in him alone. I'm not telling you to get religious. I'm telling you you can be saved right here, right now, as you're watching this video. Now is the accepted time. Now is the day of salvation. What do you have to do to be saved? The gospel of your salvation is found in the book of 1 Corinthians, chapter 15, verse 1 to 4. Believe. You're believing Jesus Christ died on the cross for your sins. The sin that, that you could never pay on your own, Jesus Christ paid it in full with his blood on the cross at Calvary, so you could be reconciled back to him, forgiven of your sins, and be with him forever in heaven. So you're believing Jesus Christ died on the cross for your sins. He was buried, and he rose again. He resurrected on the third day as it is written in the scriptures. That's the gospel of your salvation. If you're still confused, here's the bottom line. Every single one of us is a sinner. We all miss the mark. We all fall short of the glory of God. And our sin separates us from a holy, a just, and a perfect God. But God loves you so much that he would come down. He would be born of a virgin. He became flesh. He dwelt among us. He was brutally tortured and crucified and shed his precious blood for you on that cross at Calvary. Again, the sin that, that you could never pay on your own, Jesus Christ paid it in full with his blood on the cross so you could be reconciled back to him, forgiven of your sins, and be with him forever in heaven. That is love, my friends. That is love. The bottom line is this. Heaven and hell are very real, literal places. You will spend an eternity in one of those destinations. Hell's a real place. Eternal torment, eternal separation from God. It's horrific. I don't want you to go there. Jesus does not want you to go there. But if you die without Jesus Christ, you will be separated from God for eternity in hell. And I am going to tell you the truth because I love you. Jesus Christ is the only way to the kingdom of heaven and the only name that can save you. I am begging you. I am imploring you to get saved right now. Put your faith and your trust in the blood of Jesus right now. Believe Jesus Christ died on the cross for your sins. He was buried and he rose again. He resurrected on the third day as it is written in the scriptures. And do it now because tomorrow is not promised. And make no mistake about it, Jesus is coming. And he's coming one day very, very, very soon. Keep looking up. Keep watching with me. And God bless you all.